Today I'll be showing you how to use Polymorph to make your own plastic uh, shapes and objects um, and we'll be learning a little bit about the properties of Polymorph and what type of plastic it is. So there's two types of um, plastics that we can work with. There's thermoset plastics and uh, there's thermoplastics. So thermosets, um, they contain polymers that cross-link together during the curing process, which means that they can form an irreversible chemical bond. Um, so that means um, basically the cross-linking pro process, it um, prevents the product from remelting when heating is applied, um, and that makes those type of plastics really good for um, like high heat applications, uh, such as in electronics and uh, different appliances like toasters, microwaves, um, electrical fittings. So um, basically uh, they are more resistant to deformation, they're resistant to higher temperatures um, and they're fairly cost effective as well. So those are thermosets. On the other side there's thermoplastics which is what we'll be working with today. So um, polymorph, it's a type of thermoplastic, and they um, soften when they're heated um, and they become more fluid as more heat is applied. Um, so they're completely recyclable, um, you can uh, reheat them, they will soften and you can uh, reshape the plastics. Um, so they're highly recyclable, um, they're a fairly eco-friendly um, type of plastic or for eco-friendly manufacturing um, and they're used in things like plastic bottles, um, toys and even contact lenses. So we've got thermosets, um, some examples of those are polyurethane, um, silicones, unsaturated polyesters and then there's um, thermoplastics and examples of those are polyethylene, polypropylene, uh, polystyrene and acrylic and of course polymorph, which is what we're working with today. So polymorph is a thermoplastic polymer and it melts at about roughly 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. And it comes in these plastic granules. So I'll open the pack. Um, and there's a, a kilo, a kilogram of these on eBay costs about uh, 20 to $30. And it comes in these granules Hold that a little bit closer so you can see it. Some of it's falling on the ground. But it comes in these uh, granules and when you um, put them in hot water or you can use a uh, hair dryer as well, but basically as they're heated to about 60 to 65 degrees, they will melt and they'll form a, a transparent material. Uh, once they're melted, the white pellets, these white pellets will fuse together so they'll become transparent, they'll soften, and then you can mold them together to make your own shapes. And then once um, the heat is removed and it cools down, um, it will start to whiten again. So it'll go from being transparent and flexible to a white plastic, um, and it will harden and set like that. So I'll put it back in the pack. I've got a, a beaker here of hot water. Again, it doesn't have to be boiling water. It only needs to be around about 60 degrees, but you still need to be careful um, when you, you're working with this. So I've got just a shape, just a ball that I made before. So you can see that it's um, fairly hard and it's white, um, but you can add different colors to these plastics. So you can get um, different pigments or um, uh, powder paints that you can use to colour the plastic as well, but I'm just using white at the moment, just, I'm not adding any colours to it, but it's fairly hard, I've just moulded it, shaped it into a ball, um, but if I wanted to, I could put it back in the hot water, wait for it to um, become transparent and become soft again, and I could completely reshape it again, so that's why it's a great um, plastic for, um, for prototyping, small projects because if you make a mistake you can put it back in 
heat it up again and, and start all over again. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter if you make mistakes along the way, you can uh, try again. So it's completely reusable. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take um, some of these polymorph granules and just, maybe I should use a spoon for this. <laughs> Put them into the beaker. Okay. Just put that out of the way. Okay, so if you look carefully, bring this a little bit closer, you can see that um, they're starting to stick together. Okay, and they're also starting to go transparent. So you can see that they're starting to go clear, transparent, and they're sticking together. Okay, so again, need to be careful because the water is hot. Um, and I'm going to use tongs just to pull it out um, so that I can mold it just in a minute, wait for it to all stick together but I'll use these tongs to pull it out. And then you also need to be careful once you pull it out, um, when you're molding it, there can be hot water inside the blob. <laughs> so you need to be careful that you don't burn your hands. Um, might be a good idea to use gloves if you're doing this at home, but see it's all stuck together now. So it's all become one big blob. The, um, there's still sort of granules there. You can see the little round granules. They're all stuck together, but if I pull this out, just drain it a little bit. And carefully, take it with my hand. I can now mold this into whatever shape I like. So it's become really flexible and you can see that it's completely transparent and I can just grab it and mold it, shape it to whatever I want. Okay, and once again, if you make a mistake, all you have to do is put it back in and um, heat it up again. But while it's like this, while it's transparent, it's still pretty easy to mold. It's starting to cool, cool down a little bit, so it's getting a little bit harder to mold, but um, it's still pretty flexible. So you can flatten it out do whatever you want with it, with it really. So it's really good for little projects at home. Um, but one um, use is for um, prototyping. So it's really good for prototyping. If you're working on a project and um, you know you don't have to be using plastic materials, but you can make a small model of your project um, just using the polymorph. It's really good for prototyping. Okay, so my polymorph um, little bowl or candle holder <laughs> has cooled down and now you can see that it's white, it's no longer transparent and it's gone quite hard, still slightly flexible, um, but it's completely cooled down and set. But I don't really like the way it turned out, it looks a bit rough. So what I can do is I can start over again. So I can put it back in hot water and hopefully it won't float, no, it's sinking to the bottom. And I can just leave it there for another minute or two. And once it's uh, heated up, I can take it back out and mold it again. 
So, if I bring it up a little bit closer, you can see, it's a bit, a bit hard to see, but you can see it's already starting to go transparent in some spots. So it's starting to heat up. But I'll just wait for that to completely heat up and go transparent and soft and then I'll take it back out and remold it. Okay, there you go. So it's mostly uh, transparent again and pretty soft and flexible. So now I can um, start all over again and work with this polymorph until I'm happy with the way that my project has turned out. Okay, so that's polymorph. It's a great reusable uh, thermoplastic polymer. Um, it's really easy to use, great for prototyping and little projects, um, and quite affordable too. Okay, thanks for watching.